In the play Hamlet, Hamlet is asked by Polonius, what are you reading? And Hamlet returns the answer, words, words, words. Now, this is an example of a device called epizoixis, which is where you repeat the same word and um, maybe it has an interesting different um, meaning as you repeat it, like break, 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 um, or never, 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 which is how King Lear ends. Break, 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 of course, is the poem by Tennyson. Epizoixis. And words, words, words are really all we have given President Zelensky because in offering him fighter jets, we cannot make good on that without the agreement of the other countries in Europe. We've left Europe. It makes no difference. The other countries in Europe who contributed to um, the design and the, um, uh, and, and, and the control of our fighter jets. So if Poland is not, if, if Poland, which was the most committed to giving Mr. Zelensky fighter jets, is not going to do so, we cannot actually do any more than train um, Ukrainian airmen and women in how to control something that they're never going to get their hands on. We need to think more seriously about what we're doing. Now, of course, I think it's a perfectly good idea to be thinking about post-war. And post-war, Ukraine definitely needs to have a fleet of fighter jets. Now, this may be what we're thinking of. And that certainly would be uh, a wise precaution. Keeping the peace uh, with a demonstrable air force. But until that time, we need to think what is a realistic way of supporting Ukraine. The most realistic way of supporting Ukraine is to ensure that the rest of Russia knows exactly what's going on. If the rest of Russia knows what's going on, then maybe political pressure can be applied to Mr. Putin to change the direction that this war is going. Bring it to an end, bring it to a negotiated conclusion. I'm not suggesting here uh, that um, there should be a revolution in Russia. I'm suggesting here there should be political pressure on Putin to change and to pull back and political pressure to admit the deceit. There is one deceit piled on top of another. There is no Nazi brigade in Ukraine. There is no invasion by Poland in Ukraine. There is no threat from NATO in Ukraine. All these threats are from Russia to Ukraine. It was Russia, it was the Kremlin that invaded a sovereign state, a neighbouring state that had put its trust in Russia, that gave up its own weapons uh, and, in return, Russia promised security which has not been delivered. A 20-year-old promise broken like a pie crust. And we need to get that message across to the whole of Russia. That is the most urgent military um, objective that, we, that, that I can possibly think that can be realised, that should be realised and should be done today. Making promises about aircraft that can never be delivered is just epizoixis. Words, words, words.